So the next thing we want to do is we want to refresh the mesh. So you refresh it. So now we have the mesh open and the first thing we want to do is to regenerate the mesh. So to do that we want to select all the edges with the edge sizing. It's because now there's 20 different edges as opposed to just two. What we want to do is we want to delete this edge sizing. And then we want to make a new edge sizing. Use that. And then use control to select every single one. Or what you could do is you could just draw a square around the whole thing. Go into box select and select the whole area. So now all 20 edges are selected, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. So then you click Apply in Geometry. And we want the type of sizing to be Number Divisions. And then we want 10 divisions for each. So now we can generate the mesh. And there it is. What we want to do is we want to re, um, redo the name selections because there's no one cylinder wall anymore. So uh, just because we don't want to delete the cylinder wall and then rename it, what we're going to do is we're going to select one of the edges. We want to use single select again instead of box select. And then apply to just one section and there you go so then we want to do it for each of the 20 sections just keep doing that for each of the sections go to cylinder wall duplicate cylinder wall 2 and then we want to apply it to the next edge apply and so we do it all the way around until we have 20 different named selections I've put in name selections for each one of these so if you go up to the top can see that there's 20 different ones. And mesh is already generated, so I'm just going to file, save project, and close down the meshing panel.